שלום, שלום. שלום, שלום, יאללה שלום. יאללה שלום. שלום, שלום. יאווי, שלום. אלדר אנדרוס? אתה שם? Mr. Andrews, are you there? Can you say for Mr. Toya? Elder Andrew Israel, hij is alleen muted. Nee, ja, ik roep hem, maar hij reageert niet. Dus nee, hij was het zo'n ding als is muted, maar ik zie wel dat er drie deelnemers zijn, waaronder jij, ik en hij. Ja, dat ja, bedoel ik. Dus ja, eigenlijk gaat het om, uh, om ons tweeën. Ik weet niet of dat de bedoeling is, want het moest uh, leiden in het gebed. Mm -hmm. Nee hoor, komen meer mensen bij je. Ja, daarom wil ik hem vragen of ik moet wachten of dat ik kan beginnen. Nee, je moet wachten natuurlijk. Hij leidt.
שלום, שלום. יאווי שלום. יאווי שלום. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yes. By the grace of the Lord, doing fine. We see the Where is Mama Mary? Mama Mary is not on the line today. I can see Matilda. I can see Bra Isaac. Wow. Okay. To begin with, I'll always start asking questions about our previous lessons, what we did. Who can tell me a bit of what we studied last time? Yes. Uh -huh. Yahweh, shalom. Our last week, we did a Sabbath. 
Okay. 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 Example, Emma Ebay is symbolic, Emma Yahoo says, I don't need the previous dear. Where yes, it was said, and where you need that, I was said, if we are say, and I say, a GD for you, a baby, a baby, a shrub, is I an edino, or Ben Mantis, I quanish, so Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. our sister has just summarized all that we learned last Saturday. Uh, she has given her reasons as to why and all that she heard she has also said it thank you very much sister uh, who again can uh, bring his or her contribution as to why we have to lend it uh, no, no no as to what we did last sunday yes yes shalom shalom yahweh shalom rising <laughs> No problem. Thank you. Brazi just asked the permission. He is driving, so if he reaches a home on time, he will join us later. Amen. Amen. Good. Carol. Okay. We are expecting oh. what what you can later for every week. What we learned last week. Oh, I probeer het zo te terug. Oh, I'm sorry in English. I'm trying to remember because it was a very powerful message, but I'm so sorry, <laughs> I forgot. What what made the message powerful? <laughs> I don't know, but I I thought about it the whole week. And see, so you forget. And now I forgot. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, let me ask Malon if he can help you. Minister Malon, please come in. Yes, I am here. But Sunday, I did not join the Bible study last Sunday. You didn't join the Bible study? No, I wasn't. I wasn't there. Oh, you didn't miss me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you didn't join. You joined. I saw you on it. <laughs> Sunday? On Sunday? Was I there? Was I there? Yeah, last time when we met, when I was teaching the topic. Oh, I remember. Was it? Um, I'm going through my notes, but I had so many notes. Well, I was busy preparing the service for yesterday. Uh -huh. and, uh, was it walking with Yahweh? Hey, Mr. Marlon, the, <laughs> the students are on the platform listening to you. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know it's very, it's quite hectic for me. And... Oh, forgive me, because eh? I, I've got that, I've got that one. Uh... Um... Okay, why do you need to keep the command to? Uh, of course, why do you need to keep the Sabbath day? Uh -huh. This is a reminder of what we did last Sunday, so. Oh. I, I thought we talked, we, uh, we did talk about uh, Jeff. commandments. The Ten Commandments, or not? No, madam. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was about, about the Sabbath. Okay. Why it's necessary to keep if, the Sabbath. If I teach you and you forget, then I will not come to your class again. <laughs> okay, for the sake of time, let me go back a bit. We learned about the reason why we have been in churches for Sundays all our lives. Uh, most especially me, uh, next year and the year after and some years to come, I'll be 50 years. And I've been in church on Sundays. All of a sudden, I said, uh-uh. God told me, no, 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 no. 
a Saturday. No, so why do I need to keep the Sabbath? I need to know have some reasons. So I have to freshen up your mind. Now we keep the Sabbath, and I say that take the Sabbath as um Vincent van Gogh, who is drawing uh, an art or a piece of kunst of an uh, an artist making a, a drawing of a sketch of 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 a, of a piece. Mm -hmm. the, um, the artist on the first day. Mutalas Fesamle have to put things in order. He get his painting brush, he get the paints, he get the canvas. The second day, he get the place he's going to make the drawing. The third day, he will draw the skies. The fifth day, he will draw the land. The sixth day, he draw the waters and everything. Wow. And after taking a look at it, I said, Wow, this is very good. And on the seventh day, he will put his signature. <laughs> In part one, I had it. We are continuing from where we left last time. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. There are some foreigners among us, so that's why I speak English. No problem. No problem. Thank you. I hope you can follow me, small small because my English is not so much good. Though. <laughs> you are lying. <laughs> your English is but better than us. By the grace of Yahweh. <laughs> okay. You can follow small small. Okay. So I'm trying to summarize what we did last week. So on the seventh day, the artist will put his signature on the piece of art to let everyone know that this is my art. I made this art. So you can take the art from Amsterdam to Uruguay, from Uruguay to Panama, from Panama to uh, 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 Mancasim, wherever you want, or to Paramaribo. The moment everybody will see the signature of the artist, they will know for who the art yeah. is. Oh, oh, huh. So that's how God made it. The first day the Bible says he made the heaven and the earth. The second day he made it. The third day he made that. And on the seventh day, the Bible says, ah, he rested. And for everybody to know that he is the creator, the owner, the author, the originator, the founder, the establisher of the earth that you and I live in, he said the signature and said, I am the creator. Therefore, worship me on the day that I finish my work. So the Sabbath day signifies the day of rest. Not because God was tired, not because he, there was nothing he cannot do for himself, but he wants to set up a memorial for you and I to have a rest and have encounter with him. So we went on to John 4, 24, where the Bible says that God is a spirit. Therefore, for those who worship God, they must worship him in truth and in spirit. For God is looking for such people to worship him. So we learned about people who worship God falsely. So if there is a truth, there is a false. If there is a truth, there is a lies. You understand? So you cannot pick any day you want and say, I want to worship God on this day. No, uh, uh, it doesn't work like that. He said, I made all the days, seven of them. Not the first day, not the second, not the, the fifth day, but on the seventh day. So such people is what God is looking for. So we realized that indeed there was a need for us to do so. But the question came and said that why should we do that? And we found out from Isaiah 66, 23, where God okay. said that it will come to a pass that a time will come that from one Sabbath, from one Sabbath to another, and from one new moon to another, all flesh will come and worship before me. Listen up, God did not say, from one sun, new Sunday to another, or from one Wednesday to another. He said, from one Sabbath to another. So you will come and worship before Yahweh. So if you come and worship before Yahweh, there is not a time that you want. It's not a time that suits you. It's not a time that your husband wants. It's not a time that your wife wants. It's not a time what? No. It's a time what God wants. Because as he says, says that, all flesh will come and worship me, worship me on the Sabbath. So, skipping it a bit forward because of our time, we also learned that um, any time that it is Sabbath, it is not a time for you to make excuses. Why? It's a very, very important day for Yahweh. So, we also learned the uh, four particular reasons why we observe the Sabbath. So, I also asked a question, what is the three things that God did on the seventh day. And we all find out in Genesis chapter 2, verse 23, that God, number one, he rested. 
Number two, he blessed the day. He blessed the seventh day. And the third thing he got it is he sanctified the third day. Sanctify me does not mean that the day was dirty, therefore he made it clean. No, it means that he put it aside. Making something sanctified, making something holy means set it aside, separate from all the other days. So it wasn't uh, 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 the first day or the second day, but rather on the seventh day. So the reason number one why we observe the Sabbath is number one, God commanded it. God commanded it. The same Lord Yahweh who said to Adam, Adam, do not eat from this tree of knowledge and evil. The same Yahweh commanded that huh, seven days in a week, six days you have to do all your work. For the seventh day is Sabbath to be keep it holy. This could be found in Isaiah chapter number 20, verse 8 to 11. Reason number one, God commanded it. Now, we skip forward because of time. The second reason is that the Sabbath is the most relaxing 24 hours of the week. Why are we saying relaxing 24 hours of the week is that it begins on the Friday evening at 6 o'clock. Right down through the night to the Saturday 6 o'clock in the evening. According to Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 to 3. That time you relax. You have encounter with your family. You have encounter with your creator, your maker. Reason number three is that the Sabbath picture a time of a complete peace on earth. And I went for that and I show you a very beautiful picture. This is what God has planned for all of us. That here we call the millennium year. Maybe another time if I have the permission from Brother Isaac, I'll come and teach you about this millennium year. There's coming 1,000 years on earth where Yahshua, our Messiah, will come and take place in his throne. It will last for 1,000 years. And if we read Peter, the book of Peter says that 1,000 years is like one day. It's like the Sabbath day we are observing every Saturday. It's going to have its fulfillment um, uh, on the last 1,000 uh, years. So that one, or the one I'm talking about, it has been prophesied by Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 60 says, verse 22 and 23, the Bible says that as the new heaven and new earth will come, huh, all flesh will come and worship Yahweh. So this is where we left. And also, we also said in Ezekiel 22, 20 verse 12, that the Sabbath was also a sign between God and his people. So if you call yourself God's people, then the Sabbath is a sign between you and Elohim Yahweh. Praise the Lord. So I have given you a recap or a summary of all that we did last week. Uh, am I clear up to this point? Now you can unmute your microphones and then you can talk back to me. God bless you for listening. Good. Thank yes. you, too for your recap. Good. So, um, uh, Carol, have you now recaptured what we did? Yes, please. Yeah. So if I tell you to give me one simple reason, can you give me one? Yes, I can. Give me only one reason why you observe the Sabbath. Only one. God commanded it. Thank you very much. God commanded it. She's a perpetual. Please, why do you observe the Sabbath? Give me only one reason. Only one. In Shirabadufie, please give me only one. Okay. Mama Mary, it's a sign. It's, it's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign for, sign for between what? God and us. Thank you. It's a sign between God and his people. People. Uh -huh. Mama Mary Osakoto, please give me one. I've said four, so give me one. Mama Mary Osakoto. Then we go to Sapoma. Uh huh. Um, me pacho. Uh, me da no no. Uh, me who ni America. Uh, pacho. 
Cassandra, a man, yeah, who made And I will ye a double said the free day. O ye daba could see was a day at the best sorry, no. Oh, Mary, me da say. Eh, be none yes, I near patch, near patch, I say. I did now wo what dear, wo would you homed that dear now do homeda, sign a pessy you? Tia Major, who made that dear, the dear homed down a say. Eh, me, me, Yahweh, eh, a day. Or no home, or whom if you name you, my munty say, Ya were to me, I'm every name you, my moa. Nay, I'm all ye in our wire day. Well, conclude not so I'm here free moa. Ya, a genie dinunti no, and my answer so ye a day a day. A day a dim woman done because I command ya wire dear to all. Good, but I say, Mamma Mary is saying that she observed the Sabbath because God set an example. So if God has set example that he will rest, how much more she to also rest and also observe the commandment. Mama, God bless you. So today we are moving on. We are going to find out uh, the fourth. You now we learned this one also that the Sabbath was not for the Jews. It's for every mankind. We reach here. So the fifth reason why you must put this one at the back of your mind as a Sabbatarian is this. The Sabbath forces us to prioritize what really matters. Prioritize what really matters. Now, let's take for example, you have 10 euros in your pocket. You are going to the shop to buy things. But you realize that the things you want to buy are too many. So what do you do? You have to make a list of things that you need the most. The most important items must come up. And those that are less important will go down. Uh -huh. In economics or business studies, we call that scale of preference. Good. So in all religious matters, hmm, whenever you observe the Sabbath, it makes you put God first. Not you. Uh -uh. God first. So throughout a hectic week, spending time with God and our loved ones can easily fall to the bottom of our to-do list. But the Sabbath is the day that is recently tell us, uh, okay, for the next 24 hours, you'll be focusing on God and your relationship with your family and friends. No work allowed. It's time for you to examine the priorities of your life. So when it is Sabbath, it's not only about church things. But you spend time with your family. You go out to admire nature. You visit those who are sick. A friend who you have not seen for a long time. You spend time with them. Then you have the chance and opportunity to evangelize the word of God to others. So that time you cannot go and do your eight hour job. That time you cannot go and do a, a, a school mark where it against hours. No, you have to prioritize that time for God. So once upon a time, when our Messiah came on earth, he told the Jews, when I was sick, you didn't come to look for me. When I was in prison, you didn't come to take care of me. When I was naked, don't even clothe me. So they asked them, they asked him, oh Lord, when were you sick that we didn't come to see you? Oh Lord, when were you in the hospital we didn't come to visit you? Oh Lord, when were you naked that we did not clothe you? Jesus said, because you did not do it for the for these ones, you did not do it for me. So on the Sabbath, we do good things for people with God in mind. So the Sabbath must have existed before Mount Sinai, or God would not have started the commandment with the word remember. So anytime God tells you to remember, he'll tell you to remind you something something that has already taken place. So when the Sabbath comes, it is a refreshing time. For you to put things that are really important on the top of your list. Reason number six. Please put it down because I'm going to ask questions very soon. Reason number six. The Sabbath tests our resolve to put God first in our lives. 
So Sabbath is part of the first four of the Ten Commandments. Yes. So a grouping that teaches human beings how to show love towards God. The, these four commandments are summarized by the first. You shall have no other gods before me. You see, all the die shall not, die shall not, they are commandments that it is for God. You see, uh -huh. the essence of this commandment is to put God first in your life. Again, if God says it is mine, therefore keep it holy, who are you to say I will not? So the Sabbath is a practical way God has given to us to do this. He gives us the opportunity to dedicate our entire day to strengthen our relationship with him. Most people don't pray. We are so busy with our daily chores. Going here and there, eight hours, here, three hours, there, the whole week we are busy. So he said, this one they have given you to you to rest. Then you can have fellowship with me. Some believe that the Sabbath is a burden and a worry that could take time away from other pursuits, jobs, friends, activities, etc. But here is the real question. Isn't doing what God commanded to put him first in our lives more important than other physical pursuits? If God says put me first, what is the what is the big deal? But some people think that the Sabbath is is is, is something hoodious, something <laughs> I don't know which English word to use to describe. No, but Sabbath is a relaxing moment that can make you you and the relationship between God become strong. That's one of the reasons why we observe the Sabbath. Good. The seventh one is, the Sabbath is a delight. The word delight means joyful. Ask any Christian who keeps the Sabbath to describe what he or she thinks of it. The word that you will hear include the word is joy. I need it. I can't imagine my week without it. I look forward to it the entire week. Is the Sabbath that really shows or really allow me to recharge my battery, recharge and relax? The words you will not hear are, I can't stand not working, even for a day. I hate spending extra time with my wife and kids. I believe in God, but I don't think like devoting a whole day to him. It's such a burden to relax to study the Bible, to go to church, to talk with my friends. You can never hear that. So in this sentence, I meant by saying that Sabbath is a delight. Sabbath is there to make sure that you relax. You have more time to spend with your family. Those who could not go to work today, who went to church on Sunday, after Sunday they will come and rest. But they are missing one thing that we are gaining. We are doing our relaxing on the day that Yahweh has chosen, not the day that we want, not the day that any man wants. Amen. The number eight reason why I observe the Sabbath and you do the same is that Sabbath was kept by Jesus, Yahshua our Messiah. Yahshua kept it. Yahshua kept it. Not only him, the disciples also, but let me stick to the number eight. So the number eight reason why we observe the Sabbath is that huh, Yeshua, the Messiah, he kept it. So people who do not keep the Sabbath sometimes counter with many episodes in the gospel of the Pharisees accusing Jesus of Sabbath breaking. However, the fact is hidden behind those arguments is that Jesus Christ was Sabbath keeper. And I want somebody to open his Bible for me and read Luke chapter 4, verse number 16 for me, please. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. Luke 4, verse 16. Yes, if you are there, you can unmute your microphone and read Luke 4, 16 for us. 
Is this possible to read it in T? Uh, because there are multiple languages. So, Mama, let's read it in English. All right. Thank you. Does anybody have the English version? Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Luke chapter 4, verse number 16. I read. Mm -hmm. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as he was custom. And he stood up to read. 17. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. On running it, he found the place where it is written. The spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Thank you. Thank you, sister. The sixteen is okay for us. Okay. Yahweh really bless you. You mm -hmm. see, the word he, she said was that as it was his custom. In our three language, we, the Bible says that na oba Nazareth, baby a unini yeno, na se de na oye ne da no, oko shia deme ko king kanye. So in our uh, English, the Bible says that, and he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, the word custom was means that. Okay, who can who can explain to me what he meant by as his custom was? What does he mean? As his custom was. He was uh, used to, to do that. Good. He was used to doing that. Yes. Another word for custom was used. Being used to. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need another one word for that. Habit. Uh -huh. As his habit was correct. Another one word for that. Another one word for that? Uh -huh. Like practice. Something always uh, you put into practice. Good. As he always practiced to do. Correct. Now look at the version I have posted on your phone. I've circled a blue. You see? The Bible, when he came to the village of Nazareth, where uh, his boyhood home, he went as usual. You see that? Yeah. As usual. Enti chi no mama ye beka se na o taye ana o ye ne da aha so good something continuously very good so Yeshua kept the sabbath why the bible said in Luke 4 16 that as his custom was as he usually do said that na o ye no da no he went there to preach amen amen so now, another reason that you have to get at the back of your mind is, I observed the Sabbath because Yahshua, my Messiah, kept the Sabbath. And what do I have to conclude that? Luke 4, 16 tells me that Yahshua, as his custom was, always went to the temple to uh, read or to preach as his custom was. Okay. Now, was it only... Yeshua, who kept the Sabbath, no, not only him, the apostles also did the same. So last week, brother Isaac was asking the question. We are not getting into that section now. So apart from Yeshua, our Messiah, the apostles did it. So another reason given for not keeping the Sabbath is that once Christ died, his followers no longer required to do anything Jewish. You see, that's what people are saying, eh? Christ has died. He died on the cross. He uh, put all the things on the cross. Ignorantly, they forget that the apostles also did it. So, well, the evidence in the New Testament, especially in the book of Acts, shows this reason to be an error. The apostles, including Apostle Paul himself, kept the Sabbath. So, let's go on. Now, in this number nine reason, Apostle Paul keeping the Sabbath. When we finish and there is more time, I will bring another slide to show you where he spent more than one and a half years in one city alone, and every time he went into the Sabbath. So I'll come back to the point number nine. So let me finish this point number 10. 
why we keep the Sabbath. Number 10th reason is that the Sabbath set God's people apart from the world. <laughs> it set me and you apart from the world. And we are going to read two passages. Two passages. Somebody is going to open Ezra 31, 31 13. And somebody is going to open Isaiah 66 23. So, first one will read here. The second one will read one here. So, if you are there, you start reading. Whilst I go on with my slide. So, the vast majority, the vast majority of our world does not see any value in keeping the Sabbath. Most people see it as a burden or outdated Jewish observance. That's why they will tell you it's for the Jews. But we learn from Mark that God did not create the Sabbath day for Jews. It's for every body, yeah? every person. Uh -huh. Or they do not think that anything about it. But the Bible actually reveals that the Sabbath is a sign identifying God's people. So if you have 100 sheep, or let me say 100 shoes, they are all high shoes. And there's one white shoe that you, you wear for work. You mark that white shoe with a blue ink. So that when you pick up that shoe, you know that this is for work. It makes it different from the other shoes. In much the same way, the Sabbath makes us different from the other people. We are not like them. Ah, uh -uh, we are different. We are Sabbatarians. We are Messianics. Uh -huh. So right now, the Sabbath is a blessing enjoyed by only a small minority only small people so the bible reveals that there will be a time when the whole world will keep the sabbath together so let's jump into exodus who has opened exodus for us i i i i open please you can read for us Exodus 31 13. okay as uh, 31 13 exodus yeah say, okay say to the israelites you must obey my sabbath this will be a sign between me and you for the generation to come so you may know that i am the lord who makes you holy amen thank you very much the bible says the lord said to them you must keep my sabbath it must be a sign between me and you the only sign that God has his people is not a sign on our forehead, a sign of the Sabbath. So he said that uh -huh, it must be a, a sign between me and you, not only today, but from generations to come. So it is written boldly there in front of you. You see, it's a sign. It's a sign of a covenant. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. So keep it up. Good. So we have that one. It's a sign for God's people. Good. Who has opened the Isaiah 66? Yes. Is anybody Isaiah 66? I don't know if you can hear me. We can hear you. Verse 23. Okay. Isaiah 66, verse 23. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it shall come to pass. Sorry, Isaiah 66, verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me says the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, let's go back to one verse earlier, verse 22. He said that as surely as the new heavens, a new heavens, and a new earth will remain. You see? Uh -huh. So will you yes. always be my people with, uh, with a name that will never disappear, says the Lord. All humanity will worship me from one week to another week uh-huh this one the this bible version quoted week instead of saying the sabbath 
So let me bring a clearer version that shows the Sabbath. Uh, so it is not just just a day, but it's a day that the Lord has already ordained for himself that every flesh will come and worship before him. Amen. So it's a day that you should, you see, at the topic of your Bible, it is written here, true worship and false worship. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. Right on top of the King James. There's a true worship and there's a false worship. Mm -hmm. A true worship and a false worship. Now, Isaiah here is talking uh, about true worship in verse 23. He said that that day, that day, uh -huh, from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another, right there in front of you. This is a true worship that Elohim is looking for. Okay? So when somebody asks you a reason as to why you observe the Sabbath, don't forget. It's a sign between me and my God. Why? Because the new moon and the, sorry, the new heaven and the new earth will come where my Lord, my God Elohim will prefer that I will worship him on that Sabbath. Not on the first day of the week or the second, but on the Sabbath. So, so far I have given you six more reasons. Last week we learned four reasons. Today we have learned six reasons why we kept the Sabbath. I have done with the presentation for now. So if there's any question, please, you can ask. If no question, I'll come to you with questions. Mama Mary, me pacho, the American root me follow me kakra. Mama Mary. Edra. Me pacho, the American root me follow me kakra. Eh, kakra, but English no content mu inti no. I mean to mean catch it more. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you know one tia sina means I'm coming to my patch up? Uh, you know, what can I as I are a city city sixty one among the twenty train? Uh huh. Okay. Let me explain that one to mama again. Mama did not understand Isaiah 66, 23, where our sister read. Mama, the old person said, Homedano, a ashen so dear the ma on your pony and ma. In the equestative free, Isaiah chapter number, a friend say, Exodus chapter 31, verse 13, say, Yeah, a ashen swan, young upon the ashen, my ensum, then a crop for ensum. I didn't see ya. Aha, we are sitting in a corner. We are. I see as it says, verse 22, and it says, Obey your strophe for me as as for fro. Now, how may there be a nipping in our Bible coat in the name as Soreno? How may there be a and he makes there say a daddy be a bar. How may done a beckle sweaty? See a new homedano this time, or it's been a homedano new heaven, na ebano, a noon tea, and a keep it sabbat. Mm -hmm. That is what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. In as I no no so down no no. Eh, what I twenty was in a beba say or slane for fraud dane home da da na eh home in yina beba abe sorini and nim a radina or see. Internet, Nipa, as as some no na say ya sorry no ya di ne hu me da no ya di e da pote no so ya fan say say me me da ne kwesi ya da no enti hu nam ni nyina be ba be ti me me da no so me bo okay mama the etian say o yakopon asem no ugu so awu ti me ko bie nanim aha my 10 commandments if you can't keep the 10 
you can appear before God. Okay. So okay. those who appear before God is the all who na mina na waka huwa semno. Mhm. So ten commandments number ten. If you steal, if you commit murder, can you appear before God? Can you go to the new heaven? No. 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 So if you can keep all the ten, including the Sabbath. And you do as God wants, and now I could pay Homedano, and the new heaven, or I could pay the name, who pay the name, dear, and now Homedia Biano, you come and bow before him, and now I could go to Homedem. Vanity. Maybe I shall make to me be start questioning back home. Yeah. All I buy is say, Sundays, Sundays church, and no, no, so I will say, who shall more the whole word, and no, no. Eh, this you know, I'm in the court church the Sundays, you know, eh, a lot to a who ain't in that just a that time of Sunday church, you know, no, that's a who made that no, you're back up for sorry, a wall, then name that's a Sunday church for no, so so not almost so no, almost so a mobile. If I say what am I say? Okay, Mama is asking the question that if the Sabbatarians, we those who observe the Sabbath. Or appear before God on the Sabbath day to worship Him. What about those who go to church on Sunday? Mama, the answer is very, very simple. Right there in your Bible, Isaiah chapter 66, verse number 22 and 23. Mama, me can you? What say? A sofa from our bayano. And it has for from our bayano. Aha, a basic name, Debbie. Now, won't any more safe for Mubetim Debbie, I need. Na ebeba se, if you bosom for fro, the rapim bosom for fro biana, and ne home de biara one casa quesera for fro bian pacho. Okay, or so homeda, and a homeda, so I da a toss on song, and ya da a di kind. Mhm, a toss on sono, and ye deba quaya wen him. One casa de kind. Because for the true, I mean, do a bayer warm, but not some of our catch them as I am a say, who made the biara, a daughter soon soon biara. Okay, okay, I used as yes, it is twenty six twenty 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 to answer my next question that God has said, a new heaven is coming, a new earth is coming, all will appear before him, we shall worship him on the Sabbath day. So whatever the Sunday people will do, I cannot say. But according to Isaiah, we shall worship Elohim Yahweh on the Sabbath day, not on the first day of the week. Amen. Amen. Oh my father, what is it? Why you okay? Does anybody have another question, please? Let me move on. Yes, please. It's okay. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. I will. I will try to read. Okay. Hello, Ada. Yes. And, uh, the reason why uh, Mama was a question, you know, it was uh, uh, the Sunday churches, they think uh, Sabbath day is Sunday. Oh, but we have learned and learned and learned and know that it's not Sunday, but it's Saturday. That's why I said in the beginning, say, my cross sorry from when I was young till now. Recently, yeah. I have observed that it is not Sunday. I made a mistake. It is Sunday. It's Saturday. That's how we, we all taught. And the, our pastors did never tell us the truth. So if you look critically at what the Roman Catholic have done, they have changed it. Why? When you read uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, he said that a king will come who will change times and laws. That king was the Roman Catholic or the Rome, uh, the Roman Kingdom, they change God's Sabbath from Saturday till to Sunday, but originally God made it on Saturday. So they have all have to stop Sunday and come and worship Yahweh on Saturday, but they don't want to do that. But you and I, we have got the privilege. Uh, and that, that is uh, that one I'm surprised because uh, uh, do you think uh, uh, Sunday pastors they 
they know uh, this through uh, this messages. <laughs> because because they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't teach it in the, the church. Maybe. I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say i am going to say i am going to say i say i am yeah, the Pope himself knows that the day for worshiping is the Sabbath. It lasts me, can you see? And then you know, but I'm not a person, I'm not a son, 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 I'm I said, What was your juma? What was your juma? No, I pon. No, we didn't say you should sue ideas in your family. Say, Why then a star better than one would be an to open him. Mamma, my soft will be a corn, quack, quack, woman. Yes, I'm going to preach over to me because I room and for high and pa. They know it. Oh, yeah. They know it. Of course, Mamma, they know. They know it. <laughs> but it's, it's a hard decision. Mama, when I was stopping my church to come and join Sabbath, it was hard for me. Very yes. hard. Because yes. I was like a pastor. I have a whole two churches. One, uh, uh, PRWC, like uh, 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 English church and the uh, local church in Chi. I do Bible. Study. I do everything like a pastor does. All of us, I have to throw everything away. People talk and talk and stress me meeting and calling here and there. They know it wasn't easy. It's a, it's a decision that you have to be strong in it to move away from it. Mm. Even when an apostle is preaching, most people who are pastors in Ghana, they quit their church and come and join uh, uh, apostle. Beginning from mm. uh, like becoming a, a congregation, a mere congregation. Why? Their future, uh, everlasting life is important to them. Yeah. Mm. That's how it is. Mama, they know power, minimum power, minimum. A, a hard decision I would it take here. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's not easy, Mama. It's not a tough easy. decision I have to make. It's a very tough mm -hmm. one I have to make. Mm -hmm. Everybody call me teacher, elder. I am here translating here. The next day I'm here doing this program. All of a sudden, I put everything away one time. You think it's easy, Mama? So they know. They know. They know. But they don't want to lose the reputation they have built. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's read something from the Bible to see what we have just said. Matthew chapter 11, verse number 25. She said, uh, the English says that at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent. You have revealed these things to babies. Yes, Christo can say, a rather make that was a major. So do we in a hinter and answer for any other name for no yacht and cocoa. Wow, so God had hidden these things from them. Okay. They have university PhD, they have university graduates and PhD, SMO, bullshit. It is bullshit to God. <laughs> but you and I, we have nothing, but God has revealed it to us. It's a privilege for you to know that. God has a sign between you and him. It's a privilege to know that when the new heaven come, God will call you and me to come and worship before him on the Sabbath. Not those with PhD who doesn't want to obey him. No, not them. But mama, look at something here. There are 10 commandments. There are 10. The fourth one says, <laughs> remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. The fifth one says, Honor your parents, they do. Mm -hmm. Don't kill, they don't kill. Mm -hmm. Don't steal, they don't steal. Mm -hmm. Don't do, they don't do. Have no other God before me, they don't. 
Don't buy the four craving image. They don't do. Don't use my name is very. They don't do. But only one. Only one. Do they say that one day I don't do. I mean, I can't think far. I can't I can't think far. I can't think far. <laughs> Why is it that the fourth one only they can do? Why? You see? There's something behind. There's something behind, eh? Why can't it so no? Okay. You see, anytime God says, remember, we forget. Look at the Lord's Supper. Jesus said, This is a new covenant in my blood. Use this to remember me. The very thing he said, use it to remember me, they forget. And do it anyhow, anytime they want it. They they now confuse Sabbath and breakfast. You see how it is? So what might they know? Okay. Any mm -hmm. question anymore from anybody? Then it's now 8.30. Mm. That's so mm. cool. Oh. Mama. As I'm going to know, I would go to quotation in Matthew 11. 25. Okay, thank you. Elder, can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Before I knew the Sabbath, um, I went to church on Sunday, but now I know that the Sabbath is on Saturday of Friday from 6 to Saturday on 6. But do if I go to the shop uh, to buy something on the Saturday, do I... Um, Make an offense? Yes, yeah, that's right. Sure. And it's not as, as that I make an offense uh, to the Lord, but because I also make an offense to the people that don't know that the Sabbath is a holy day. Do you, do you understand what I mean? So I'm not the only one that's guilty, but also I also make the other one guilty by forward the cashier, the one sitting behind the... Do you understand? Sure. Carol, I understand your question perfectly. Yeah. Your question is, if I observe the Sabbath, can I buy yes. something in the shop on mm -hmm. a Sabbath day? Okay, mm -hmm. now listen. Sabbath is made for man, but not man for the Sabbath. Uh, Mark chapter 2, verse 20 down 27. Thank Jesus Christ you. was walking the disciples and they were hungry. And they enter into a cornfield, they break corn and eat. It's a necessity. Imagine you have a baby, seven months, he do she uh, the baby breastfeeding or SMR baby fooding. Mm -hmm. And the baby fooding is up. You can't get it only at the time uh, it's on it closes at 10 o'clock. You rush to a time and buy baby fooding, God will not send you to hell for buying baby fooding for your baby. He will never do that. Why? Mm -hmm. It is a necessity. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. But mm -hmm. what you should not do is to go to the shop and work. Mm -hmm. On that 10 o'clock, 6 o'clock, you don't need to go and work, but you can buy. Okay. Secondly, okay. secondly, it is Sabbath, Saturday. We are all in church. Uh, you are in Amsterdam support, going for Louis Vuitton shirts, Louis Vuitton bag, because uh, um, um, this shop, what did the, um, the Queen's shop, what is the name of it? The Queen's shop there? Um, uh, oh, uh, oh, in Amsterdam Square. Square. What's the name for the Queen's shop? The Queen Ring? Oh, Bayan Ankorov. Bayan Ankorov. Because okay, okay. buying cough is doing sales on Saturday, and you quit the Sabbath service, you go there and shop that one, God will hold it against you. It's not a necessity to go and buy Louis Vuitton design bags and design because, it, well, uh, uh, come on. You see the two differences I'm making here? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that you don't need it. It's not necessary. No. Mm -hmm. But food, items, things you need urgently, it is not a breaking of Sabbath at all. But you going there to work on that Sabbath evening to go and get money, that one is no good. Secondly, buying unnecessary things on that Sabbath evening is also no good. 
So Sabbath means it is meant for God, it is meant for you to keep it holy. Mm. Okay, thank you. Adam, I, please, I want to add this to um, Madame Carol, but it shouldn't be every Sabbath you try to buy something. It shouldn't be your habit of yeah. buying things mm -hmm. at Sabbath day, but once a while, you can do it in case of emergency, like our elder is saying, but it shouldn't be part of you every Saturday. I'm busy, so Saturday I want to buy it. No. No, no I understand that I have to prepare. Yeah, I understand yes, that I have yes, to prepare yes. on Friday for uh, yes. till so once a while you can yeah. buy, but it shouldn't be your, your habit or continuously. No, I understand. That one is offense. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, can I ask something? Brother? Yes, please, you can ask. Yeah. Um, like when we have children, they play football, they swim. Do we have to, can they attend or we have to stop them to do the sport on Sabbath? <laughs> yeah. It's a tough question. For example, um, mm -hmm. let me answer, let me read this, uh, yeah. The swimming or the football that your son or daughter attends is part of a school agenda. And the school authority says that your child must swim five hours a week. So anytime you go to the swimming, the swimming um, um, man over there will put a stamp on your car to show to the school. It's something that your school has requested for. It's allowed. But you don't let your children go and do swimming west ride so that the swimming competition so that they can win medals and get money no that one is working <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh -huh. so it's a, it's a uh, uh, west ride west ride is competition we are competing between the nine year old the person who win this trophy will win the swimming competition this week. You're going to get a beautiful trophy, 5,000 euro. And somebody, day you send your child there to go and win the trophy, you are working. But if the school has demanded that every week your child must attend swimming classes and then bring uh, a test or bring uh, a certificate, that shows that your child has attended the swimming lesson Yes, of course, no problem at all because it's part of the child's development. Don't forget, the Sabbath was made for man. It is made to glorify God, but not for yourself. Amen. Two, Amen. if you can look for somebody to help you because you have a Sabbath observation in the church that day. Oh, Tante, uh, Sister Carol, Sister Edith, please, can you help me? Uh, my son have to attend to swimming, but I have a very big, please, can you help me find a help? If you can't find a help and you must do it, do it after that, please, God. Pray to God to forgive you because it is not what you had wanted to, but you have no choice. There are some people who have choice, yet they will forget. I know somebody in the place I used to be. They go as far back as Germany to bring their son to football. He's a church leader. Every Sunday, he will not be in the church. The son will have to play football. That's why it's very important for him. When you ask him, he will tell you that the son is his future uh, pension fee. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pension fee. So the boy must start training now in order to get a cap so that when he grows old, the child's uh, football money will be used as his pension fee. And the whole church leader will stop going to church because he has to let the, church, the child go for competition to win cup so that he, when he gets old in the future, 28, 29 years, he can get a better team to play in, uh, in Manchester United. What is the mentality behind it? Morning. So you see now there's a differences in what I'm saying. Okay? So mm -hmm. the Sabbath is not to restrict you or to capture you and put you into a bottle as a slave. No, not at all. That's why Yahshua, our Messiah, said, man was not made for the Sabbath, but Sabbath was made for man. It is there for you to have a free encounter with your family, to give honor to God. 
Mm. You see what I'm saying? So if a school has authorized you to bring your son to a swimming for him to get a paper to show to the school, you are obeying the rules of the school. And because you have nobody to help you do it, you must take the child there for that few minutes or few hours. It doesn't spoil the Sabbath at all. Because the motive behind it is not a bad motive. Amen. Uh, amen. amen. <laughs> mm, uh, uh, Ada. Mama. There's something I cannot understand. Okay. Uh, uh, in Exodus 20, verse 81. Yeah. Uh, number uh, verse 10. I said, but the seventh day is a, is a seventh day. To the Lord your God, on it you are, on it you shall not do do any work, neither you, nor your uh, your son or daughter. Yeah. But what about uh, yeah yeah yeah, our children they they don't uh, they are working on Saturday. When you tell them stop, don't go to work, they, they will not understand, and they argue with you. What about that? And okay. we cannot force them to stop the work, but the mother is not working, staying home and worship God. But the children is outside and working, mm -hmm. or do uh, such uh, some things that uh, they are not supposed to do. What what we can do about that? What's the verse? Ten, yes, saying twenty verse, verse ten or okay, uh, verse ten, yeah. Okay, now. Ezra 20 verse, oh, okay, Ezra 20. 20, let me check. Ezra 28, uh, verse 8. Verse 8 downwards. Uh, down, now, yeah, the Bible yeah. says, remember the to keep it holy. Says that you shall labor and do all your work, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, Oba, yeah. nor your daughter, Oba Bema. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. or your servant uh, seven, even, yeah. even animals in the house are not to work I'm yes. listen carefully. even animals in the house now your son is 16 years okay. 15 years okay. 14 years okay. 12 years when he was not yet up to working age what were you teaching him or her if she had learned my daughter is 10 years now Ariella we have now been observing Sabbath. They know that Papa doesn't work on the Sabbath. They know. No way if I teach my child from that age to 16 years, she will, have to, she will, go, uh, she will not work. Because from the on start, she has known it. She has known it. So when he grows old, for the, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs that train up a child the way he should go. So when he grow, he will not depart from it. It's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So while she is young and you start teaching her all these values of the Sabbath, when she reach, reaches a working age, she will not go to work. She will be doing what she is accustomed to. Don't forget, Luke 4, 16. The Bible says that Jesus Christ, when he came to Nazareth, the place where he had been brought up, how were the parents bringing Jesus Christ up? They brought him up to observe the Sabbath. So when he grew, he went to the church on the Sabbath. So imagine the same way when you start training your child at that young age, she will get accustomed to it. And when she grows, she will never depart from it. That's one scenario. Second scenario, I have my son upstairs. He's 19 years. We came to this Sabbath observation about uh, eight months ago. Grace? Yes, I was eight months, one year, my work. Yeah, yeah, Sabbath. No, about six, seven, six to eight months now. Yeah. Good. He is 19. He sees that I've stopped working on Saturday. He doesn't go to work on Saturday. Every Saturday, he drives us to church. He doesn't go to work on Saturday. Mm -hmm. He has come to understand it. I have taught him. I am with him that he has seen my ways. Okay? So he will not go and do work on Saturday. He hear me here teaching people, don't go to work. He will never go behind my back and do no work. Yeah. Scenario number three. Maybe, maybe the question I have to ask you, the parents, is what are you teaching your child? 
two. Uh, the same place you quoted, Ezra chapter 20, mm -hmm. verse number 8 downwards. Whenever you reach number 12, the Bible says that Anna, your father and mother. So is your child honoring you? Is he respecting you? If you say, my son, don't go to work because verse 8 says you shall do no work and your child snubs you and go to work, then your child has also forfeited verse number 12. What do you say about that? What are you teaching mm -hmm. them? You see that? So that's how that is a task between me and my family. That's a task between you and your family. So that's why the Bible says that, or we are learning that when it is a it's a this, for you uh, and God. We have to you and God plus you and your family. You do Bible studies, you pray together as a whole family together. So when the Bureau calls your child to come and work. Say, Mama, the child should come and work. Should I go? You will say, No, don't go. It's Sabbath day. And when you teach your child to observe it and value the Sabbath above money, God will make a way for your child in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Mama Betty, come back again. Do my <laughs> Mama Betty, come back again. I heard that. May you call off. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. Okay. Yeah, we're shalom. Ah, uh, my baby, if you ah, when they do a question, ah, about Betty, be sad. I'm Papa Church, I'm Papa. I'm the Kakra's son. So, I did it for my friends. Say, when who no cry no encane, into Oba Enyini, Oba Enyini. Brise, please. I will translate what you are saying, please. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, uh, okay. Bro, I will be also on TPL. I will be bro also, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, now we translate. Well, we, well, well, be who, we, who made that in cane, and I no cry in cane. You have come to, you have come to know the truth whilst your son or your daughter is now grown up. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What you the, can do right well, now is that. Uh, the truth that you have, you have come to know you have also you have to also teach your children whether they have grown or not you have to tell them my children beginning we did not see the truth but now i have seen it so this is what i have dig and found it so when you do this when you were able to tell your children the truth that you have held and they did not believe or they did not follow you you have done your part because let me tell you the truth uh, look, uh, uh, example like an uh, apostle. He's now preaching the word of God. He has seen it, but he did not hide it. But he came out to preach to the, the whole world to know the truth. So everyone who believes or who is the child of the true uh, Yahweh, when he heard the, when that person heard uh, the truth, he will come and follow. Because uh, Yahweh told uh, Isaiah that Isaiah, go and tell the, the uh, children of Israel their iniquity their iniquities have come upon me tell them if they did not change their their, their mind they when they die their blood will fall upon them but when you did not tell them Isaiah, when they die i will ask their soul from you so uh, my 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 mothers and uh papas on this platform we know that your child is grown because as our blood as our uh, Elder is saying now his children is 10 years the children is following the father now so when the children go, grows up he will know that now even when I was with my my father my father did not work on Sabbath so now he has come to know because the Bible said teach the children when they are young so that when they grow up they will never depart from the, the word of the truth or the word of Yahweh now mm -hmm. that your child has grown my mother, this is what I want to tell you. Tell them. Call them every every time. Tell them when they did not yield you or did not follow, you have done your part. But if you keep right and you say, I have known the truth, it, it, it's your duty for him to for you to teach him when he was young. But you you did not know because you too, your mother did not taught you when you were a child. If your mother taught you when you were a child, 
you to you taught uh, you teach your children but be, because your mother did not taught you when you were a child now you have grown up to come and know the truth so what i want you to do is that whether the child the children has grown or not you have to tell them because now you to you go out and tell different people even those who are not your child you tell them about the truth what about the, the one who you are living with them the one who come from your own stomach you have to tell them the truth so when they when they follow yes you are freeing the soul for the creator. But when they say, Mama, I have grown, so I choose to do anything that I want to do. You have done your part. You will know that you were, you, you were able to tell them. You, you open your mouth and tell them you, you, teach them. you teach them the truth. But they did not listen to you. So this is what I, I can contribute. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. God bless you. you. Elder Isaac. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, yeah was, you know. very shallow. Please, me too. I would like to add a little bit. Um, even the children, the children that God or uh, Yahweh needs them, not to be the adults. He said that allow the children to come to me. So if you are going to church or if you are listening to the word of Yahweh and you allow your children or your your yeah, something like that to go out or to do something, and you the grown up only listening to the word, you are not helping or you are not. Uh, fulfilling the promise of Yahweh because he said allow the children to come to me because they deserve the kingdom of God so always if you are listening to the word you have to draw all your children close to you so that they can know the truth because the children that God needs or Yahweh needs not even you he needs the children so always um, we shouldn't um, the children shouldn't be panicked with parents you have to talk them in a polite way. Maybe you don't talk to them in a polite way. Harshly, you talk to them harshly. No, all those children need to be pampered, whether he is grown or not. You have to be pampered because it's, it's hard. It, 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 he didn't start with the, the beginning. Okay, so little by little, he will get used to the word or the Sabbath so that you avoid it. So always, the children have to be close to the word of God or to know Yahweh's word because the children that yeah, with me, not even us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Amen. So, Mama Amen. Betty, I know you have now fully been answered now. Yeah. Good. God bless you, you all. So, we have now 10 reasons at the back of our minds why we observe the Sabbath. Don't allow anybody to talk you around. Your secret is your power. Have this is at the back of your mind and hold on to it. They are the firm, strong foundation of your new found faith. Even if you forget anything at all, don't forget Isaiah 66, 22 and 23. For when that day comes, a Yahweh calls all flesh to come and worship him on the Sabbath. And I can't see you there. In fact, I'll be very sad. I will cry. I will say, where's my sister? Where's my brother? Please, make sure you don't allow anybody to talk you off. Make sure. <laughs> It might be something at the back of your mind. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yahweh knows why he kept it so long, so that now you and I will know the truth. He knows why. So I've given you 10 reasons. Write them, keep them, and pass it on to your friends and families. May Yahweh bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Okay, before I leave or I sign off, uh, last time Papa Isaac was asking about Paul and how he observed the Sabbath and stuff like that. I have a full teachings on that that will, can help you as a believer to observe it as well. I will explain to him if uh, he, he, he comes always with his topics. When he finished the next one he has for us, then I'll come in with this one so that you can have a second uh, strong bullet at the back of your mind why you should also observe the Sabbath as the apostles did. Amen. Okay, then we allow you to bring it before any, any topic will come. Okay. Because you have, to, you have to finish the Sabbath, so we allow you to bring it. So thank that you. people will understand, uh, they will understand the Sabbath. Okay, thank you. Then, by the grace of God, next week, the homework I'm giving to you is everybody's going to make a research, research about Paul and the Bible version where he says that Paul kept the Sabbath. 
it's a homework to all of you. So when I come, I'll collect the homework, examine it, cross check it, cross examine it before I bring the answers for you. Okay. Uh, that, that would be too easy for you. That would be too easy for you. Everybody should set it because we have a lot of quotation in the New Testament that yeah. tells us that uh, the uh, apostle also observed the Sabbath. Yeah. So please, you can Go do it. It's it. How did, did apostles observe the Sabbath? Go and search for it. If you want quotation will be now for you, only one. Uh, so next week when you come, we will cross-examine it, bisect and dissect and insect it. Hey, <laughs> Amen. That's my boy. <laughs> okay. We have closed. So we asked Papa Isaac to give a follow-up.